The Bonfire of the Manatees is a pretty decent episode of The Simpsons, but I do have one issue with something that Marge did, and I'll speak about that probably with a spoiler warning. But this is the first episode of the 17th season, directed by David Silverman and Mark Kirkland. And Homer ends up doing something that means he owes a lot of money, and instead of paying up the money, he agrees to let Fat Tony shoot an adult film in his home. And Marge finds out and is not very happy with that and ends up driving off and ends up helping save and rescue manatees. <laughs> and when she referred to it as an oogly boogly, it, it just, her reaction was just absolutely priceless. And there were bits throughout this that I, I quite liked. Um, the exchange in the, in the, in the cafe, um, about something not being good for business, I really liked as well. It's a very well written episode. The foghorn leghorn tattoo, wish we'd seen it. Definitely a lot of small things in this that I liked. With regards to the overarching narrative, I wasn't that bothered. Um, I, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> it's as simple as that. I don't know how I feel about it. I didn't hate the narrative, but I kind of didn't care about it either. Um, maybe, maybe because I'm not that interested in manatees, had she been trying to save kittens, it might have been a different story. But obviously we have to admire this, um, this new venture that she's on, and whether or not Homer will be able to persuade her to come home again, well, I won't say, but I didn't mind it. I think it developed quite well. The pacing was pretty good, but there are a few things that I had some issues with. Um, so I guess I'll discuss everything else with a spoiler warning now. So everything from now will be a spoiler. The scenes in Santa's Village, I most certainly hadn't predicted, and I thought that was very peculiar, but it worked. It worked quite well. But soon after that, there were a couple of things I well, one main thing that I don't agree with. But first of all, Marge sees the van for the adult entertainment outside her home and goes in and comes back out. The van's not there. But nobody left before her. So that was a continuity issue. But also, if Homer has... Uh, I'm trying to use words that I can see on YouTube without being demonetized. But if those kinds of people are performing those kinds of acts in her home... Why would she leave her children and drive off? No mother, and particularly not a mother like Marge, would leave their children in a home where they're filming an adult film. So I feel like that was completely out of character, completely unbelievable. And because it happened relatively early on, it kind of affected my judgment of the episode. And after that point, I just didn't really buy into the narrative as much, which might be why I didn't love it. But that really did irritate me. There's no way... Marge would have left them while they were, while that was going on. So I definitely didn't agree with that. But I did. I loved it when she repeatedly rammed the other car because I hadn't expected it. And it was just so violent and pretty awesome. With regards to the relatives, that was, I like how that played out. The whole um, Homer going into the outhouse I rather liked. Um, the fact that Homer was very stereotyping of those characters was amusing and helped to show that actually not everybody who lives in the country is like that. But being related through dogs is um, <laughs> one of those things in The Simpsons that's just absolutely ridiculous and doesn't make sense. I don't know how they would have even found out they were related through dogs because they didn't get Santa's little helper from a litter. So goodness knows how that came about. Let's just pretend it never happened. It's not a bad episode. I wasn't watching it thinking it was boring or wishing I was doing something else, but there are definitely issues here and there. But what I did love was seeing Marge in a wetsuit because I love it when the characters wear different clothing. It's visually a little bit more interesting, it's just something a bit different, um, and it's definitely very different to what Marge normally wears, so that worked well. Definitely well animated, but the narrative with a couple of holes in it definitely wasn't my favourite.